Hello. Hi, good evening. Welcome. Good evening. Yeah, welcome. Uh, <coughs> I do, doing the uh, I did I doing for action this moment. I doing the the exercise and the test. Mid the test, great. But I have a yes at and. Uh, one source ago, I have a problem with my internet. When you chat the chat, the problem. Yes, I. Me too. I have a problem with the Claro inter, internet. Oh really? Yes, uh, um, you have a problem the same. Do you have you the same problem? The group? Yes, I, I um, texted. I texted. No, no. Chat. I texted on the chat. Yo escribí en el grupo, uh -huh, en el chat. I texted that I was having uh -huh. problems. Yeah, not me, but I know a lot of people um, having the same yeah, problem. Yeah, it was general. Yeah, it was general, mm -hmm. that's right. Sure. So, yeah. But... Uh, only uh, I have a, uh, I see opportunity. Mm, today is close the, 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 the unit so oh, section one section two and three and three yeah sections and one two uh, and three sería como sería como bueno que sería como que bueno que pusieran acá en las herramientas en curso o notas en el blog tal fecha deben de tener finalizado porque así no dice ya yeah. acá como que para que uno esté más atento digamos para que uno diga uh -huh. ah, me, no lo tengo sí. que ir haciendo en esta fecha aquí me dice Debo de hacer el examen sí, y tengo Elvis. Que eso para de hecho, que, no, como que los atenemos nosotros. Sí, le comprendo, Elvis. Eh, y de hecho, sí, les he estado recalcando eh, que desde el lunes que esta semana había que terminar la unidad 3. Y esto incluye el Ajá, examen, el midterm exam, el, el, el examen intermedio. Hasta ahí Ajá. hay que hacer, hay que terminar el examen intermedio, de hecho. Y el cual vamos a revisar el día Correcto. de hoy. Vamos a revisar el examen intermedio. Uh -huh. So let's go straight to the point because we have a lot to cover today. Okay, let's go. So basically, um, the first part that we're going to talk about is requests with models, if clauses, and gerunds. So how do we do this? Let's pay attention uh, a little bit 
to the next video, I send you this chart, this little the chart. chart. The chart. Yeah, I send it to the group, so you can mm -hmm. check it. Thank you. Because of the image, right? So the image quality. So let's wait for this to load. Yeah, Claro is, is giving a lot of problems right now, and still. Yeah. See, it is not loading. I was watching this video right before we started the, the class. So, uh, let's see. Okay, there we go. Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll learn how to ask for favors using models, if clauses, and gerunds. The main goal is to learn how to make requests in different forms. So we all make requests to our friends, family members, as well as our manager at work. And the way that we make this request tends to change depending on how we're addressing the person and who we're addressing, right? And the level of confidence that you have with the person. So for example, if you're asking a very close friend to lend you $5, Usually you'll make the request by simply saying, can I borrow $5? I'll pay you back tomorrow. However, if you're asking your manager to give you an extra day off, you'll typically ask by saying, I wonder if I could take an extra day off. And the reason is simple. It's because it's not what you say, but how you say it. It's more likely that if you ask in a very polite manner, you'll get what you want in certain cases of course so that's what we're going to learn today so let me introduce uh, some structure this topic by the way it's quite simple uh, what we want to do is we want to use uh, models we want to use if clauses and gerunds so just uh, uh, let me point out what those are uh, just a quick reminder, you're probably familiar with this already. Uh, but what are, uh, so what are models? Those are models are uh, those model verbs that you see there, can, uh, could, and also would, right? Uh, and um, if clauses, well, don't have an if clause. Um, and then uh, the last thing that uh, we want to learn there is how to use gerunds to make this kind of request. Uh, and so that's that example that you see there. Would you mind? letting me use your laptop okay and what we mean by this is that we're gonna use a gerund right so would you mind after would you mind um, we're gonna have to use a gerund and I'm gonna quickly point that out here in a second so let me just quickly point out the examples that we see here so as you can see we on the left we see that if I use the expression can I borrow your pencil that is something that I will typically ask a friend someone that I'm very close to right so okay let me see what you're understanding um, what we're watching is requests with models if clauses and gerunds so are you understanding yes, um, yes? Daniela great thank you Daniela yes. Elvis yes. So, so, teacher. So, so, kind of, okay, it's kind of good. Alicia, good evening. Yeah, good evening. Good evening, everybody. Uh, teacher, I, 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 I have a question in the exercise because uh, when I write uh, this, um, this example in the, in the, exer in the exercise, uh, it's wrong and uh, I don't know if I I have a mistake in a, in a um, uh, capital in letter of, or capitals or, or punctuation it could be uh -huh. but we will see it on the second part of the class today so okay. right right in the middle we're gonna start okay. answer, answering your questions with the exercises and the platform okay okay so, thank you um, this, this is very simple. You have less formal and more formal. So you have can is the less formal way because it's more direct. If I tell you, can I borrow your pencil? It's like, I already took it, right? Es como decirte, ya lo agarré. 
y te estoy diciendo que si lo puedo, te lo puedo prestar. Ok, si, te lo, si me lo prestas. So, that's not so polite. Let's say, could you lend me a jacket? Is more friendly. El punto es que desde do you mind if, hacia atrás, ok, hasta can, hacia arriba, ok, son para preguntas um, para personas que yo ya conozco, con quienes tengo confianza y puedo ser un poco más directo con ellas, ok, so, si te digo, uh, can you borrow five dollars, can I borrow five dollars, can I borrow five dollars from you, es como, tengo que tener confianza para pedirte cinco dólares. Uh, could you lend me five dollars? Podrías prestarme cinco dólares. Todavía, pedir prestado no se hace con un desconocido, ni con el jefe, pedir prestado. ¿Ok? Salvo que ya tenga confianza. Todavía uh, puedo decir, is it okay if... ¿Ok? Is it okay if I use your phone? Is it okay if I leave early? O sea, necesito un nivel más, grande, más alto de confianza para decirle a alguien, está bien, sí. Y ahí metes una frase en presente simple. Ok. Uh, so, vamos con tres ahorita. Can I borrow your... Algo. Could you lend me... Algo. Y... And... Is it ok if I perform this action? Is it ok if I dance? Okay, if I ask you, is it okay if I dance? Will that be okay? Is it okay if I dance? No? Can I dance? No? Can I dance? Is it okay? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Uh, teacher, this this um, this form, uh, it's for example, está bien sí. Correcto, está bien. Okay. It's up to you if you want to dance. It's up to you, yeah. Okay. No, I don't want to dance, guys. I don't know how to dance. Okay, so that's the example. Uh, can you give me your own example? I'm gonna go one by one. Alicia, start with. Can I borrow? Can I borrow your book? Perfect. Okay. Elvis, could you lend me? Mm -hmm. uh, can I, can could I you, borrow? Could you lend me? Number two. Okay. Okay. Could you, could you lend me the, the cell phone? Could you lend me the cell phone? Okay. Perfect. Violeta, is it okay if? Is it okay if I put the Beatles? If I play the Beatles? Hmm. If, I, if I play. Yeah. I'm sorry. Is it okay if I play the Beatles? Don't say sorry, never say sorry. You're learning, don't worry. Is it okay if I play the Beatles? Eh, it's okay. Okay. Now, do you mind if I use your CD burner? Still, you know, it's like, ¿le prestarías a alguien un quemador de CDs? Alguien que no conoces, con quien no tenés confianza. Es como, uh, do you mind if I use your car? <gasps> okay. Would you lend somebody never. your car? Never, right? Never, never. So, give me an example. Do you mind if, uh, Daniela? Do you mind if I use your laptop? You mind, yeah. You need, you need to have, you need to trust You need to trust that person, okay, to ask, do you mind if I... Do you mind if I eat your sandwich? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. You got it. You got it, right? Okay. So, what are we saying? ¿Puedo llevar a cabo esta acción? Okay. ¿Podrías, okay, prestarme tal cosa? Estaría bien... O oh, está bien, perdón. Está bien si llevo a cabo esta acción. Ojo con eso. Estoy hablando en presente simple después de the request. Is it okay if? And then um, a sentence in present simple. Is it okay if? Okay. Do you mind if? ¿Qué sería do you mind if? No te importa si. 
¿Te importaría, sí? Uh -huh, casi los dos. Quitemos ¿Te molestaría, la sí? Ah, quítenle la probabilidad. ¿Te molesta, ah. sí? ¿Te molesta, sí? ¿Te importa, sí? Ajá, te importa. Excelente. Ahí sí, sería, ¿te importa, sí? Ok. Uso tal cosa, ¿te importa si te digo algo? ¿Cómo diría eso? ¿Te importa si te digo algo? Do you mind if I talk something? Talk? If I tell you something. If I tell, tell, you, something. tell you something. Good, Daniela, yes. Would you, uh, do you mind if I tell you something? ¿Te importa si te digo algo? Ok. Will it be okay if... A ver, ayúdenme. Ustedes ya vieron esos temas. Estoy seguro que estamos re revisando nada más, como decía José. Would you mind if... I'm sorry. Will, will it be okay if... Estaría bien. Sí. Ahí sí está el día porque está el wood. Perfecto. Will it be okay if... Estaría bien, sí. Ok. Uh, Stanley, what do you think? Give me an example. Will it be okay if... Okay. Stanley may not be here yet. Okay. Uh, uh, will it be okay if I open the window? Perfect. Great example. Now that it's cold, right? And uh, really cold. So will it be okay if I open the window? Excellent. Estaría bien. Let's go with Vadi. Hi, Vadi. Hi, teacher. Are you cold? Yes, I live in Santa Tecla. <laughs> oh my God, yes, it's gonna cold. be cold. Okay, Vadi. I'm go. hot, I'm hot. Hello, Madeline. Good evening, teacher. I'm going with you, I'm going with you right now. Great job. Let's see, uh, Vadi, Vadi, uh, would you mind if, what's the meaning of would you mind if? Um, ¿Te importaría si? Sí? Ajá, alguien lo dijo, ¿te importaría? ¿Te importaría si? ¿Sí? ¿Sí? Yeah, different than saying, do you mind? ¿Te importa? ¿Do you mind if? Ok. De hecho, solo, ya lo han de haber escuchado en alguna película. Cuando alguien se sube al bus y, y se sienta y a la par se le para una persona y la va empujando mucho, ¿verdad? Y dice así como, do you mind? Uh, ¿Le importa? ¿Le importa? Uh, step away. Wait, wait. Uh, ¿Le importa? Do you mind? Y la do otra es, mind? will you mind? ¿Sí? ¿Te importaría? Ok. So, Vadi, give me an example. Would you mind if... Uh, would you mind if I... Dance I did, with your I brother? I'm sorry, buddy. Would you mind if I dance with your brother? Good. Would you mind if I dance with your brother? Dance. Good example. Okay. Madeline. Next example. Would yes. you would you uh, mind? Would you mind if I use uh, your computer? Your computer. Good. Now, Madeline, let's go with the next example. Would you mind letting me use your laptop? Take a look. Uh, take a look okay. at the structure. After mind, we have an ing. Would you mind? Uh, can I borrow your mm -mm. your computer? Okay. Follow the structure. Would you mind? Uh, bringing, bringing me some water. Would you mind bringing me some water? Uh, would you mind? Uh, would you mind um, bring me a coffee shop? A, a coffee, a coffee, please. Uh huh. Would you mind bringing, bringing, bring me, bringing, bring me. Okay. Again, bringing, bring, bring me. Let's use ing. Ing, no. Yep. Bring me. Why, teacher? Uh, bien, estamos viendo 
las diferentes formas de hacer solicitudes con modales, if clauses, and gerunds, ¿ok? Con cláusulas sí, silogismo, no sé, ajá. Con cláusulas sí, de probabilidad, y con gerundios. Entonces, eh, ya veíamos, no sé si ya se ubicaron, ¿verdad? Vamos haciendo esto. So, arriba tengo la opción, will it be okay if? Ok, primero empezamos con los modales. Can, could. Luego vamos con las cláusulas if. Is it okay if? Está bien, sí. Do you mind if? ¿Te importa? Sí. Will it be okay if? Estaría bien, sí. Sigue siendo una cláusula if. Um, Would you mind if? ¿Te importaría? Sí. Y lo estamos con Madeline. Ojo, pero después de ese if, ¿sí? Puedo ocupar en el pasado participio, puedo ocupar una oración en presente simple. Y en el ejemplo que estamos dando con Madeline, estoy ocupando un gerundio. Would you mind letting me Okay. Would you mind bringing me some coffee? Okay. Bring this part it. when I when I say, would you mind if you bring me a coffee? Would you mind if you bring me a coffee? Te importaría si tú me traes un café? Yes. Te importaría si tú me traes un yes. café? Uh -huh. Gramaticalmente no está mal pero contextualmente estaría mal, porque estoy, eh, ¿te importaría si tú me traes un café? If you bring me a coffee. Lo normal sería, ¿te importaría si Vadi me trae un café? Puede ser que depende de ti, que Vadi se mueva de su posición de trabajo, del lugar en el que está ahorita. ¿Te afectaría a ti? Ok, so would then? you mind, would you mind, um, Would you mind uh, if Vadi brings me a coffee? Would you mind if Vadi brings me a coffee? Importaría si Vadi me trae un café. Okay. Context. If you no, if you no. Um, de nuevo, gramaticalmente sería bien, pero lo apropiado sería would you mind Bringing me a coffee, ¿te importaría traerme un café? Without if. Without <laughs> you, without you. Bring me, bring me a coffee. Sí, if... el ejemplo de Madrid, no, o sea, creo que es muy indirecto. Would you mind if you bring me a coffee? ¿Te importaría si tú me traes un café? Hmm. No sé, ¿qué piensan los demás? ¿Qué ¿Te importaría si tú me traes un café? ¿Te tal, tal vez si yo. Un café. Tal vez si yo, ¿verdad? ¿Te importaría si yo te traigo un café? O sea, ah, sí, ¿Te importaría sí. si me traes está. un café? Es que el pronombre tú ya está implícito en, en, yeah. en you. If, if you, would you, mind, would you, would you, would you mind if you, again, you, entonces, me parece que, que estamos repitiendo lo mismo. El mismo, uh, yes, eh, el, el mismo, yes, it's true. El mismo sujeto. Ok, y no no sé then, would you mind sujeto bring tácito. me a coffee? <laughs> yeah. But with gerund. Uh, hay diferentes without formas. Gerund, without eh, gerund. Without gerund. Um, Madeline is talking about. Oh, with gerund. With, Madeline is talking about the option without gerund. Oh, okay, okay. Would you mind mm -hmm. if? Would you mind if? Um, let me point that out. Madeline is talking about to, 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 this example. You see? Would you mind if I? Would you mind if you? Would you mind if she? Okay. So, would you mind if I bring you a coffee? ¿Te importa si yo te traigo un café? Then the person will say yes. Would you mind if my aunt brings you a coffee? 
Yes, no, no, that's at okay. The, at the, I tell you, I, I tell at the other person, no, no eh, paying, ese on, no, 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 como decir, no pidiendo, no. No pidiendo paying. permiso? Ajá. Uh -huh. Not asking for permission. Yeah. Not asking for permission. Okay, let me see, Violeta, could you give me an example with using the gerund? Uh, okay. Would you mind letting me in to the session? Change the the verb. Okay. Uh, would you mind? Uh, bringing me okay would, would you, you mind, mind bringing bringing, bringing me uh, your uh, your cell phone my cell phone yes <laughs> yeah you're talking to your daughter or your son right hey would you mind bringing yeah, me yeah. my cell phone please thank you okay so this is more polite and that's the point. This is more polite. You go to an interview and you have to fill out paperwork. Teacher, I have a question. Yes. When I use gerun, when I use gerun, am I, I, I have a doubt uh, because uh, would you mind let me, let me or would you mind bringing bring bring my bring me my cell phone is other form bring but okay. i don't know when i use the gerund bring him eh, ¿qué se escucharía mejor? would you mind bring me would you mind after mine after mine you have to use the gerund that's right but if you're going to use if you don't have to use the gerund. You have to use the verb in past. Correct. Or present. Okay. Would you mind if I tell you something? For example? Mm, for example, we can say, would you mind if I take your di digital cam camera? Would you mind if I take your digital camera? Perfect. Oh. Okay. Now, Madeline, you couldn't say, uh, would you mind to bring me my cell phone? As Violeta was saying, we need to use the gerund form. Would you mind? Why? It's a rule. Okay, it is a rule. Because it doesn't sound or, um, si no, no suena bien decir, to bring me my cell phone. Would you mind to bring me my cell phone? Después de algunos verbos, le voy a enviar un cuadrito en el que se explica, después de algunos verbos se ocupa to, después de otros verbos, o sea, las preposiciones que preceden a, a ciertos verbos. ¿Ok? Would you mind bring me my cell phone is bad? Sí, porque, ok, mind y bring me están en el mismo tiempo gramatical. Sería normal agregar to en medio, Pero después de mind, como decía Violeta, se necesita el gerundio. Okay, would you mind telling her? Yes, mm. understand, understand. Okay. Okay, me mm. and my, okay, it's, okay, perfect. <laughs> Next, I wonder if I could borrow some money. Uh, let's go with, uh, Daniel already talked, let's meet Ninive. Let's go with Ninive. Um, I... <laughs> So the example I is. Wonder, uh -huh. Okay. Um, I wonder if I could use your cell phone. Perfect. I wonder if I could use your cell phone. I wonder if I could use your cell phone. Okay. <laughs> Give me another example, Beatrice. I wonder if I could drive your car oh my god no yes good example <laughs> yes that's a great example 
Uh, let's go with the next one, Jarvin. Hello. I was wondering if you might starting to sit with me. Starting, starting to sit with me. Oh, okay. I was wondering if you'd mind singing with me. Yep. I was oh, you, you singing. Yeah, singing. Yeah. I will. I, I was wondering if you'd mind singing with me. Perfect. Okay. That sounds a lot better. Adriana, that's example. Okay. I was wondering if I if you'd mind making me some pupusas. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Somebody's hungry. Okay. <laughs> no, it's just an example. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm Chicos. Hungry. I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. Um, el inglés es tan fácil, pero tan, pero tan, pero tan fácil. La, gramat la gramática es tan, pero tan, pero tan fácil. Como una ecuación eh, geográfica, una ecuación algebraica. <laughs> Ay, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Hey, todo lo, lo que tenés que hacer, lo único que tenés que hacer, déjenme mover el mouse. Okay. okay, lo único que tenés que hacer es reemplazar partes en una fórmula, ¿sí? Analizar lo que ya conoces y hallarle sentido, ya conoces los modales, ¿ok? Sabes que es? Teacher, I have a question. Yes, Alicia. Sorry. Uh, what is the meaning, the exact meaning of I wonder if? The exact meaning of I wonder if. Uh -huh. me, pregun me pregunto si. Me pregunto si. Ah, ok. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I Teacher, if... why is it important to use clauses in English? Oof. Which clauses? It's we, very important to use clauses or not? As we are, <laughs> as we are learning right now, these clauses, clauses are a lot. There is a lot of clauses, but the ones we're looking at right now, the if clauses, are to express uh, yourself in a more polite way. If given the probability that makes you sound more polite. More polite. Oh, okay. yes. Super rápido, okay. Madeleine. Madeleine, yes, thank you. Eh, eh, ni siquiera te digo el nombre, sino que, hey, puedo ocupar tu computadora. A ah, que te diga, mm, está bien si ocupo tu computadora. Okay. okay, está bien si ocupo tu computadora. Pregunto primero si te molesta que haga que lleve a cabo una acción. Um, hey, when I when I say can I use your computer? Uh -huh. Is bad or not? I need a clauses. Yes, because I mean you can ask can I ask can I use your computer? But you and I we are friends, okay? You and I are friends. But if mm -hmm. you, you cannot ask, can I use your computer to someone you just met? Okay. No podría ser la misma pregunta a alguien que acabo de conocer, Marlene, que, de, que preguntarle a un amigo. Can I use your computer? Okay. Okay. Very good. Uh, Marlene, Very good. Solo, ahí solo está Marlene de que revise los modales. El grado de... De... Ay, ¿cómo se llama esto? Formalidad. Exacto. Sí, el grado de formalidad de los modales. O el grado de confianza de, de, de los modales. Okay. No, no, no. I just understood you. Uh -huh, yes, uh -huh. understood you. Okay. I, I had a, I had a, a doubt, but I, I understood you. Okay. Perfect. Okay. All is good. Do you, is every, everything is okay. Okay, good. Uh, do you have any questions with this part? Are we clear on this part? Yes, yes, okay. teacher. Cool, okay. Now let's talk about indirect questions introduced by that. 
okay? This is even easier. This is even easier, but it's not loading, so let's wait for a minute. Hi, everyone. We did okay. a class to make indirect response. Okay, so in this case, we're going to learn how to use indirect questions. We have a statement there, Jeff. And I'll go straight to the point because it's very simple. For example, you have Jeff. This is the, the indirect, indirect request. Tony is having a party. That's the statement, right? That's the situation. Jeff, Tony is having a party. Okay. Indirectly, I need to know something from Jeff. Could you tell Jeff Tony is having a party? Okay. Could you tell Jeff Tony is having a party? Or could you tell Jeff that Tony is having a party? Don't I'll... use if. Uh, no, cam aquí if ca cambiamos, ya cambiamos de tema. Vamos a ver. Estas son preguntas indirectas introducidas por that. Y en este contexto, that significa que. Okay. It's when you're asking something to someone about the other person. Yes. You ask, uh, so for example, in this case, this is Rafael, this is Jeff, and this is Tony. So uh, Rafael is telling, I got lost. <laughs> I'm going to ask you about Jeff. Yes, uh, it's like me. I, I'm, I'm someone else, right? And I tell Violeta, Violeta, could you tell Jeff Tony is having a party? Four people. Me, Violeta, Jeff, and Tony. Okay, Tony is not present. So, Violeta, could you tell Madeline that, um, that Daniela is having a party? Okay. Le estoy pidiendo de favor a Violeta. ¿Podrías decirle a Madeline que Daniela tiene una fiesta? Ah, uh, yes. Ahora, no, ojo. No, yeah. uh -huh. Dile a Daniela que... Perdón, dile a Madeline que Daniela tiene una fiesta. O puedo decir, ¿podrías decirle a Madeline Daniela tiene una fiesta? Exactamente yeah. eso necesito que le diga. Daniela tiene una fiesta. Okay. No que Daniela tiene una fiesta, porque entonces sería Violeta a decirle a, a Madeline, eh, Daniela va a hacer algo el fin de semana. No exactamente que es una fiesta. ¿Sí me explico? El que implica uh -huh. opción. Okay. No agregar el que implicaría estrictamente el mensaje directo sin ninguna alteración. Okay. So, de nuevo. Y lo estoy diciendo en español porque es muy importante que adapten el lenguaje. Cualquier estructura gramatical que ustedes escuchen en una conversación, en una oración, lo único que tienen que hacer es poner atención a las partes gramaticales que componen la oración. Por ejemplo, let's go part by part. Um, would it be okay if you tell us the answer of the exam? Yes, I will tell you in a minute. Sorry, I have some problems with my internet connection. Okay, Adriana, I got it. So, for example, you have a modal verb. Okay, here, I'm gonna write it down. We have a modal verb, which is could, right? Then you have a what? What is you? The, pre the pronoun. The subject Personal pronoun. pronoun. The subject pronoun. The, the subject. The subject. Okay. What is tell? It's a verb. It's a verb. Then what is Jeff? It's a noun. A noun or a pronoun. That is correct. Okay. And then moving on with the sentence, what else do we have? What is that? A compliment. Uh, yes, it could be a compliment or a connector. Okay. Either. Adverb? No, it's not adverb. Oh, that. It's a conjunction. Uh -huh. A conjunction, a connector. Okay. And then you have another sentence. You see? 
another subject, okay? The verb to be, or just another verb, subject, verb, and complement. You see? Okay, modal, modal, subject, verb. This is present simple. And I have a pronoun. This is optional, okay? A connector or, okay? And then we have a subject, a verb, and a complement, simple present. Esa es la manera en la que necesito que estén pensando reemplazar los objetos en una oración con eh, las partículas en una oración con la gramática que ya conocen ese punto. Ok, eh, se los digo por experiencia, tengo un grupo de jóvenes de escasos recursos eh, y pues cuando empecé a darles clases me sorprendí porque lo básico que habían visto en el bachillerato les dejé la tarea que yo suelo dejar y a la semana pues ellos llegaron y les dije, los dejé libres, hagan el tiempo gramatical que más les parezca. Alguien llevó presente perfecto continuo. Yo me quedé, ¿cómo hiciste? Me dijo, lo busqué en Google. ¿Y lo entendiste? Sí, solo reemplacé las partes. Mi primera reacción fue ponerle una oración en segundo condicional, que okay, algo complejo, y solo hubo una cosa que no entendieron, el modal, porque no habían visto modales. So, lo mismo te ocurre a ti, reemplaza partículas de una oración. So, moving on. So, there we were using that, okay? The request is introduced by that, okay? Indirect request using infinitives. Can you tell Jeff in negative? Not, not to be late. Okay, can you tell Jeff not to be late? Infinitives. This is the infinitive, to be. Okay, let's say that uh, Alicia, your, your, one of your kids is jumping on the bed and you tell your husband. Can you tell uh, Andres not to jump in the bed. On the bed. On the bed. You got it. Okay. okay. Uh, next, Violeta, let's say that one of your kids is putting the cat on the table. Uh, can you tell Evelyn to... No, can you tell Evelyn not to put the cat on the table? Perfect. One more example. Let me select someone else here. Madeline, did you get it? Tell me. Okay. One of your students is talking to another student in the classroom. Uh, can you tell me? Uh, Fernando, don't speak in my class. Okay, do it again. Follow this structure, Madeline. Number one. And you tell Fernando. Mm -hmm. Not. Don't speak. Uh, okay, aquí no uh, dice no, don't. Not, not uh -huh. to. Not to be. No, uh, not speak. Not, not to speak. Not to. Not to speak in my class. Perfect. Not to speak. Uh, not to talk. Okay. Not to talk in not, the class. Not to talk in the class. Could you tell for Don't talk in the class. Not don't. Sigamos la estructura. Can you tell Fernando not to talk in the class? Not talk in a class. Not to talk. Not to talk in the class. Por eso estamos usando infinitivos. Oh, yes. Okay. Now, how this, where did, does this come from? Let's go looking at the examples of the statements. This comes from the imperatives. Jeff, don't be late. Okay. Si no le voy a decir directamente a Jeff, sino que le voy a pedir a alguien más 
que le diga a Jeff de mi parte, entonces ocupo una forma indirecta con infinitivos. El imperativo es Jeff, don't be late. ¿Ok? El segundo imperativo es que le decía a Alicia era... Uh, Jumping. ¿Qué nombre dijo? Se me olvidó. Andrés. O Andrés. 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 Okay. Andrés, jump. don't jump. ¿Oí? Andrés, don't jump on the bed. Uh -huh. okay. Can you tell Andrés? Can not? you tell Andrés not to jump on the bed? Got it. Excellent. Okay. Are we clear? Yes. Excellent. Not to jump. Not, not to, to jump. jump. It's okay. Yes. We, we, can, we have to follow the, the structure. That is correct. For the okay. next example, yes and no questions. Yes and no questions. Sofía, are you free on Friday? Estoy hablando directamente a Sofía. ¿Estás libre el viernes? Ok, en ese caso, para hacer una pregunta indirecta, a un tercero le diría, can you ask Sofía if she is free she's or free she's free on, on Friday? Friday? ¿Puedes preguntarle a Sofía si ella está libre el viernes? Ah, yes, I said yes. I have wrong that... Uh... That sentence in the in the in the exercise in the last exercise mm -hmm. of the lesson number three, mm -hmm. but I don't know why. Because I I almost copy the the sentence, this sentence. And Can you ask Sophia? And it didn't work. Yes, yes. Always put me put me the the the, it the always... sentence. It always wrong. marked. It always marked the Mark. answer wrong. Repeat. Wrong. It always, yes. It always marked the sentence wrong. It always mark the sentence wrong. Mark wrong. Okay. I had the same problem than that Violeta. Did Me you check? Too. Did you check the apostrophe? Yes. And also the instructions yeah. because I was the same situation, but. I, I had I had the same situation. And yeah. Adriana, okay, ahorita lo vamos a revisar. Give me just one minute. Uh, en su but teclado. I but I but I did it because I read the instructions better. Okay, <laughs> so you, you you made it. Okay, yeah. you made it. Great job. Let's finish the topic. We only have five minutes to finish the topic, and then we go to the platform. Okay, porque con eso cerramos la sección tres. Okay. Next, and just no question. Sofia, do you have my number? Le pregunto a alguien más. Could you ask her whether or not she has my number? What is the meaning of whether? Weather. Ya sea Clima. Que. Clima. Ya sea que. Ah, weather. Bueno, ah. <laughs> se pronuncia igual. Le decía, le decía It's the la, same la pronunciation. I understand oh the same. I understand <laughs> the same weather okay. clima. Sorry, teacher. Now, weather, como decía Daniela, es ya sea. Look at the writing. Ahí falta una A prácticamente para que sea el clima. Okay, weather. Okay, whether or not she has my number. También podría decir whether she has my number or not. Okay. Could you ask? Okay. Could you ask? Alicia, if she, I mean, whether, es bien fácil de equivocarse, porque whether and if eh, es casi que lo mismo y se ocupa en mm. condicionales igual. Ok, let's go. So, could you ask uh, Alicia whether she knows me or not? Could you ask Alicia um, whether or not she knows me? Whether or not she knows mm -hmm. me? Ya sea sí o no, me conoce. Uh -huh. Okay. Whether, what, what is the meaning, teacher? Sorry. What ya are? sea. Ya sea. Ya que. sea. Okay. Thank you. Whether or not. Uh, spell it, please. Whether. Whether is W H E T H E R. Thank you. You're welcome. And the last part, guys, I need to close with this. Jeff, when does the party start? Okay. Someone else, can you ask Jeff when the party starts? Can you ask Jeff when the party starts? 
Last, Sophia, what time should I pick you up? Instead, could you ask Sophia what time I should pick her up? What time I should pick her up? Pick her up. Levant, eh, perdón, sí, recogerla. ¿A qué horas debo, rec debería recogerla? ¿A qué horas debería recogerla? Okay. Bien, estudien esta parte. Let's go with the platform itself to see what's going on. Por ahí me decían, teacher, tuve un problema con el 3.4. Okay, good. Let's go part by part. It says complete the following requests with models, if clauses, and gerunds, which is what we are talking about. For example, you want to borrow your co-workers underwater camera. I was wondering if you would mind lending me your underwater camera. Now, do not write the whole request, only the, complete, the completion, completion of it. Make sure you use the correct spelling and punctuation. So, you want to use your roommate's computer. Is it okay if I use your computer? Okay. Yeah. You see? You would like for your neighbor to give you a ride to work. Would you mind? Somebody? Would you mind, uh, you mind? reading? No. Give you a neighbor? Mm. Ajá. Ahí decía Violeta la regla, ¿qué es lo que no puedo hacer después de mind? Given. This is the a gerund. Gerund. A gerund. gerund. You need a gerund. gerund. You need a gerund. Uh -huh. So, gerund. would you mind? Giving me. Giving me, giving me a, a right, right to work. A right to work. Giving me a right to work. A right to work. Would you mind giving me a right? Let's see. Oh, no. Okay, let's see. <laughs> to work, maybe, let's see. teacher? Yes, you got it, Alicia. Yes. Would you mind giving me a right to work? Perfect. Uh, I, I understood that it, 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 my mistake it, it was for, because I have, I, I, I was writing all the sentence. The whole Since sentence. Is it okay? Okay. Okay. I, I, you got it? I understood. So, Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Any other question, guys, with this part? You want mm -hmm. a friend to help you move on Saturday. Could you? Could you? Could you help me help move on Saturday? Me? Mm, let's help try me. moving. Could you help me moving? Saturday, I'm gonna write Saturday. Aha, uh -huh. let's see. Saturday. No, okay. No, no. it's move. I do it with move with move. You did it? I yeah. did it with move. Yeah. I okay. Did. Okay. Can Could you help move? me move on Saturday? Okay. And so on. Would you mind now? Here we need to use if, right? If you mind, would you, you would like your aunt to give you a second piece of pie. I was wondering if you'd mind. We need like, a gerund. We need a gerund. Mm -hmm. now, Giving me take a, a look. Piece give. Give me a second give, piece of pie. Help. Take a look at this. Okay. Yes. Give giving me a ride uh -huh. to work. So this is what you're requesting. Give okay. you a right to work. It will be me, okay? Help you move on Saturday. Help me move on Saturday. You just change the object, the subject. I'm sorry, the object. Um, mm -hmm. Give you a second piece of pie. Give me, giving me, giving, giving me, a, me second, a second pie. Giving me a second, a second pie. Piece of piece pie. Piece of pie. Piece of pie. You got it. Okay. okay. 
Any other? Mm -hmm. And this is the same thing. Now, please always read the um, request, okay? Read the explanation of what you're supposed to do. Rewrite mm -hmm. the sentences as indirect requests. In other words, mm -hmm. ask someone to deliver the message for you. Only complete the missing words and make sure you use the correct spelling and punctuation. Only complete the missing Only words. Only complete. That's all you're gonna do. You're not gonna rewrite everything. So mm -hmm. let's see, how many friends I can bring to this party? Tony, how many friends can I bring to the party? Mm -hmm. yeah. can, can you ask Tony? Okay. That's it. I don't need a question mark. Yeah. Can you ask Donnie how many friends I can bring to this spot to his party? Mm -hmm. Excellent. Okay. Could you ask Sophia? Mm -hmm. If she is if... going to the party with Jeff. Could hmm. you ask Sophia? If, if, if Sophia, if, no, if, she, um, let me try. That's not going to work. No. Okay. The question mark. The question mark. Oh. I don't think that's going to work. I... Wow. Okay. So you don't have to use the apostrophe in that case. Mm -hmm. You have to write the whole word. That's why my answer always was wrong. What apostrophe? Oh, because here. I use this. Oh, you can do it. Ahora, eso era lo que trampa. Violeta, Violeta. No, Violeta. I Violeta. was I was telling you about the the keyboard. That was Violeta. my problem. Ya, yeah, Violeta. Esta, mira, mira la pantalla y mira la cámara acá. Okay. Uh -huh. Si, si me ves el dedo acá ¿Sí? este es el apóstrofe S si yo me voy al otro lado del teclado tengo un otro apóstrofe aquí arriba a la par de la tecla de enter mira uh -huh. ese es el ¿Sí? apóstrofe ese es el apóstrofe que tengo que ocupar en mi uh -huh. caso en mi caso tengo mi teclado en inglés ok that's the way ok Pero, so, mi, mi teclado está en español Oh. Entonces, eh, Change it to English. no, arriba, eh, <laughs> sí, mi, yes. my keyword, my keyword is in the Spanish, okay? I'm I sorry. don't know, change <laughs> the keyword, change the keyword to Spanish, I mean to English, okay, good, todo depende de configuración también, okay. 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 <laughs> y si todo se complica y no hay cómo cambiar el teclado a inglés, entonces me vengo acá a Google y pongo apostrophe. Let's see. Apostrophe, apostrophe. Oh, here it is. Okay. Okay. Ahora, veamos. ¿Es diferente? Yo lo miro igual. Okay, this is an apostrophe. Y entonces the same. y copias esto. Ah, you copy. Yeah. <laughs> you, you can copy it. this. <laughs> last yes. resource. That's the last resource. Okay, guys. All that you have practiced up to this point, you go next and you have the midterm exam. You go and listen to the first part. Thank you. Maybe there's a good reason why she forgot. 
And then you go answering one by one. Thomas is completely honest and gives helpful advice. Mm -hmm. Or is it Mrs. Mr. Parks or is it Bill? This is easy. You just need to select the correct mm -hmm. answer. Okay. Yeah. Out of the audio. Second part, choose the correct word. Come on. I prefer uh, or an temperamental mm -hmm. boss who oh, I can do my best for her. Mm. An organized or an ego, egotistical boss who I can do my best for her. Hmm. Teacher, I have a question. Yep. Um, I, uh, uh, we can, uh, we have to finish this night. Tonight, yes. Tonight. Please, if you can stay working, support yourselves. So, apoyense entre ustedes en el chat de WhatsApp porque ya me voy. Okay. Y de plano, apoyense en el WhatsApp. Eh, yo ahorita voy a otra clase ahorita, ahorita, ahorita mismo, ok. Eh, ya vimos errores de, de gramática acá que pueden ocurrir mm -hmm. eh, más que todo de, de escritura, ¿no? So, cuidado con eso. Mira, aquí tenés un, un apóstrofe, mira, Violeta. So you do the mm -hmm. same. You copy and paste it. And that's it. Okay. Okay. Para Thank evitar, you, para evitar el problema con el teclado, okay? okay. Good. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. Thank you. You can do it, guys. Okay. Do your best. I know you can do it. Okay. Acuérdense que Thank pueden you. intentarlo cuantas veces sea necesario, okay? Okay. 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 Thank you. Good night. Could I ask you to 10 p.m.? After 10 p.m., yes. After 10 p.m., okay. Thank you, teacher. Bye-bye. 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 Good night. Bye. 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 B